Hey everyone, this is EG Braden CM, and I'm going to be showing you how to actually set up the Xbox One to Windows 10 live streaming uh, setup, where you can stream your Xbox One games to your Windows 10 computer, as long as it meets the requirement, of course. Now, all you need to do on the Xbox is quite simple. It will obviously uh, turn the Xbox on, make sure it's on the same network as your computer, and in the main settings, there's just allow game streaming to others. Simple as that, it takes you probably 30 seconds to toggle that. Now when it comes to the computer, it's kind of really simple. So in Windows 10, uh, you got a lot of different things on here, including the new Xbox app right here. So once you load that up, it'll look like something like this. So now this is the Xbox One app, which is fantastic by the way. I'll do another video showcasing this. Now on the left hand side you're going to see a bunch of icons. You're looking for this Xbox console here right now. So you can see I'm already connected. So what you do is you'll see your Xbox with whatever name you have it right on here. Connect to it just like you were doing with your smart glass app. Quite easy. Now what you'll see is the game I'm actually currently playing which is actually what I'm playing. Now what you want to do is after you add that device, you can click on a couple different things. Test streaming, you won't actually see anything. It's just simply testing your computer for the streaming low, medium, and high. And under more options, you really don't see too, too much. Connect automatically, disconnect, turn off, or forget the console. Turn off is kind of nice. If for some reason you forget to turn off your console from your computer, you can do it right there. Controls, obviously quite simple, volume of the game. Now. All you have to do to actually get it on here is click on stream. It will connect to your console. Yeah, I, I know I don't have a controller connected to it. Obviously you can plug in a controller, Xbox 360 or Xbox One. And now this is actually the game I'm playing. So just to kind of show you the, the leg between it, it's pretty much non-existent. So I'm going to move my cursor to the right when I get when I count down from three to one. And you can just see the response. Okay, three, two, one. So I'm, I notice maybe, we're talking like 0.4, maybe 0.3 of a second of delay, at least on my network. Obviously it depends on your network requirements. But it is a fantastic way for anyone who doesn't actually have a capture card, has a Windows 10 computer, to actually capture your screen. Now, this whole video I've been made without a capture card. I didn't have a capture card. You don't need a capture card. Now, the perks obviously are the quality. I can tell you right here the quality on the uh, actual screen itself is much better than the quality of screen capture, we're talking maybe a difference between 1080p and 720p, which on a small enough screen, which are majority of YouTube viewers, you're never going to notice that much of a difference. Now, uh, obviously you do lose some control over different things with overlays and whatnot, but it's quick, it's easy, and you can leave it running for however long you want for your, your streaming. You're not limited to, I think in the settings I set it to... Uh, two hours for background clips, which that's just background clips. This is streaming. You can do this for uh, however long you want. Uh, it's it's fantastic when it comes to that. Okay, so while you're streaming, you do have a couple options on here. Xbox, this is the mic option, so you can actually chat through the party through the computer, stop streaming, and your bandwidth down here. So you can actually see your network information while you stream. And uh, what is this? This is the quality, so you can adjust the quality. So let's go stop streaming. Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Thank you very much. And uh, that's really about it. So under the settings, what you want to do under game streaming, you just select your encoding level depending on your bandwidth. And that is it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic experience with this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.